So, Driven by Mars 17.1 is out and it brings a new feature to the Ableton Push 1 and 2. You can now also edit the sense of the drum machine. What does it mean? It always surprises me that since I use Bitwixen's version 1 that there are features in there which I had no idea about and this is such a feature. So a user told me about this that this is not working with the Push and I was totally confused and the thing is as follows. Let's check that out. So I have a little drum beat going here and I have two send channels here. I have a delay and a reverb so I can drown the whole set into a nice delay. Get a groove going and you can also drown it in, in a reverb. But normally what you want to do is you want to, for example, have a bigger reverb on a snare. This can also be done if you just enter your drum machine. And we have now here selected the snare. So you also have here the channels. This was also working before. You can now put only a delay here on the snare and also put reverb on the snare as well. So let's check it out that. So we have now both the delay going and the reverb. But there is another feature, which, as I said, was not aware about. You can also have sense only inside the drum machine. And the drum machine, the Bitwig drum machine, is the only device which supports that feature. So the other instruments don't have that feature. And the advantage is that you can store these sense settings inside as a part of the drum machine as a preset. So how does it look in Bitwig? If we go here to the drum machine and there is this little button here which is only available for the drum machine and this opens up this area and it's named returns which is even more confusing. It's not named sense, it's named returns and what is the reason for that? This box basically contains such a list of tracks for your FX sense, which only exist inside here of a drum device. So you have a full list of FX sense inside of a drum machine. For example, we could also add here a reverb. Let's for example here add a Valhalla room reverb. Also, let's just for the example, whatever, let's put something, doesn't matter, let's say a chorus. So you have now two send channels. So like these two, we have here these two as well. You see that the two internal drum machine sends have been added in front of the normal global ones. So you can also change now here inside of this drum pad layer, this reverb. So let's check it out. We have, let's remove the global one. So we have still have the delay going on, also the delay on the snare. And we can turn up now this Valhalla room only on the snare. So we have now a nice reverb on the snare. And you could also add the chorus, which doesn't make much sense, but you could do that too. And as I said, the nice thing is now you could now store this drum machine preset together with this room setting and this would be one patch. So it's nice for sound design if you want to improve your sounds, maybe also with compressors and have a ready to play drum machine, you can do it this way. And you can now also do it here from your push one or two controller as well. I hope you also learned about this new feature and like to use it. Dig it and make some funky music.